Hello Uchiha here back with another part of what if Naruto was OP and loved. So last time we left off when Naruto with his sisters was walking towards the academy. Before continuing this part I would like you guys to subscribe and like this video and comment down below if you want other parts of this series. Let's continue. As they were walking towards the academy everyone in the street was staring at them as Naruto had big sweat drop on the back of his head. As both of his sisters were grabbing on to him by his each arm as they made their way to the academy. Outside its entrance, we see a large amount of kids with their parents dropping them off at the academy time, sh time skip to their classroom. As everyone was sitting there, as fangirls were already all over Sasuke Uchiha as he was trying to trying his best trying his best to ignore them in this timeline the uchiha massacre never happened as they weren't ostracized by the villagers as then the uzumaki namek as then the uzumaki namekaze siblings started to enter the room one by one first came in naruko uzumaki namekaze but people looked took a, only a glance at her took only a glance at, glance at her before going back to do what they were doing before and then entered Mito as she went by and simply sat down next to her older sister on a bench but when Naruto came in everyone jaw dropped as all the boys in his class started to blush even Sasuke couldn't help but to stare and blush as he thought to himself what is this feeling and why is my face turning red as the girls just looked at him with awe as he just simply got near to the bench where his sisters were sitting as both of them were glaring at all of the boys and girls as their eyes were saying don't even think about it to them as everyone gulped at this but then they couldn't stay put but to look at him Suddenly, Iruka came into the room and greeted them. Okay, students, so today, as your first day, why don't we introduce ourselves to each other? As your sensei, I'll go first. My name is Iruka Umino, as I will be your Chunin sensei for next six years. Pleased to meet you. Now, please introduce yourself one by one, starting from the first row from left, said Iruka. As the, student, as the students started to introduce themselves one by one. After some time, Sasuke also in, introduced himself as all the fangirls were squealing a, after his introduction. As time went by, Naruko's turn came up. She simply stood and said, My name is Naruko Uzumaki Namikaze. My father is Minato Namikaze, the fourth Hokage, and my mother is Kushino Uzumaki, who is the, also the last Uzumaki as as well as known as the Red Harbor, Hot Habanero of Hidden Leaf. My likes are my little brother and ramen. As then she sat down. And after that, Mito spoke and said the same as now everyone was eyeing Naruto as it was his turn in class to introduce himself. Because they thought of him as a girl, because of his feminine features and looks, and wanted to know about him. Even Sasuke was interested and looking at him slasher or so he thought as he got up as everyone even the girls in his class were staring at him interestingly he finally sighed and said my name is naruto uzumaki namikaze i like ramen and my sisters and oh i'm a boy if you're wondering after this he just simply sat down as silence filled the room for some time and then suddenly a glass shattering sound could be heard all over the village as then all of them said what as all the boys were thinking why why god i will not believe this why it can't be she's a guy as all their thoughts and dreams were shattered as all the girls bit their lips so hard that it started to bleed their thoughts were what but he is so pretty somehow it makes me feel defeated for some reason. Even Uruka and clan heads who were present there 
for their children's first day at class were surprised after hearing this because they also thought that he was a girl as dark shadows surrounded all of the boys and girls as they as they were all crying anime tears but then they began to begin their class during these six years now we do a time skip during these six years naruto was on top of the class in every aspect taijutsu ninjutsu and so on whereas sasuke was second to none and in konoichi section were tied at first were naruko and mito and on second place was hinata and third place was taken by sakura following along with ino yamanaka as in these six years naruto had improved a lot of his abilities at he is at least at a high chunin to low jonin level now he had a now we had a time skip to six years later as it was the final exams of for them to become ganins and official ninjas as naruto and naruko had mastered the flying rising technique already to some extent not at minato's level obviously and mito had mastered her chakra chains not as good as kushina but still good for her age and taijutsu as they all passed the exams with flying colors but the only difference was that mizuki tried to steal the scroll of sealing by himself and ended up getting caught red handed by the third hokage and was arrested now came the team selection as all the teams were the same as in canon with the respect with their respective jonin senses the only difference was a new addition of team 14 which consisted of naruko uzumaki namikaze mito uzumaki namikaze and sai and their jonin sensei was kushina uzumaki while team 7 was still sasuke uchiha sakura haruno and naruto uzumaki namikaze and sasuke was happy for some reason when he found out about naruto being one of his teammates and so was sakura as she will not be useless nor a fan girl in this what if and their sensei was still kakashi hatake as every jonin came and started to take their team away as time went by even kushina took her team but that was hard because both naruko and mito were crying and saying they wanted to stay with naruto anime tears were were flo- filling up the room because they didn't wanted to leave their brother their precious brother alone with the hag and the uchiha as even kushina was also a bit mad at minato because he had decided the teams and the jonin sensei she also wanted to train her precious baby boy and look after him and wanted him to be on her team along with side with her sisters After two hours of convincing them, they finally left while glaring at Team Seven, except Naruto, as they said, "If you dare touch our precious little brother." As their hair began to float in air, as Kushina, as both Sasuke and Sakura gulped at this, while Naruto had a big sweat mark, sweat mark drop on his head, back of his head, while he laughed nervously. After they left, the room was empty for a bit. as it was only 3 of them there that were in the room as silence filled the room as naruto just simply lied down being bored on his desk and closed his eyes to and started to sleep as both sasuke and sakura only stared at him from their seats while slightly blushing now we go to naruto as he fell asleep in real time while he woke up in his mindscape as he was confused he saw water at his feet and a giant cage with tag on it saying seal as he said huh where am i am i dreaming suddenly two red eyes after hearing the, his voice started to glow with black slits in them he was scared and took a few steps back and he mustered up the then he mustered up the courage and to ask who 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 are you as then a big chuckle could chuckling sound could be heard in a deep voice across the area then the deep voice said 
don't be afraid, kid. I'm not going to hurt you. I am the Nine-Tailed Fox, also known as the Kyobe. Said the giant fox, stepping outside in the light near the cage. As Naruto's eyes went wide open as he saw a giant orange fox with nine tails at his back. But he tried to calm himself down and asked, What do you mean, nine tails? Isn't it dead? My father, my father didn't he kill it? No, kid, I can't be killed. As you know, I am a pure being of chakra. I will reform even if I die, said the giant fox, as it shocked Naruto too. As it shocked Naruto then, he asked, Then, what are you doing here? I'm here because you are my Jinchuriki, Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze, said the Kayobe. As, as at first, Naruto was so shocked he couldn't handle this information all at once. But somehow he managed to calm himself down and said, So, if I'm your Jinchuriki, doesn't this mean you will have to live in me till I die? Pretty much, kid, said Kayobi as he chuckled a bit. After some thinking, Naruto said, Then why don't we get along and become friends? With a huge smile, as Kyubi's eyes went widened for a bit. Then he asked, What do you mean as friends? Kid, don't I scare you? After all, I am the demon fox Kyobi, said the fox. Naruto just smiled and said, Since we will be together throughout my life, wouldn't it be better if we could we were to become friends and get along, or otherwise you will be quite lonely, you know, won't you? Plus, I don't find you that scary, rather fluffy. After her saying the word fluffy, while he drooled a bit because he liked fluffy things to some extent because of influencing of his sisters, mainly animals, fluffy animals. It was a, they were the reason he relieved his stress on. After hearing this, Kayubi burst out in laughter. As he said, I have lived a long life, but you are the first Jinchuriki of mine who has said this to me. Fine, Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze. I, the great Kayubi, will be your friend and lend you my strength in battles and in time of need. After saying that, when he looked towards Naruto, he had stars in his eyes as he was jumping in happiness in his mindscape. Because Kayubi was his first friend besides his sister due to their overly attached behavior towards Naruto. Naruto couldn't make any friends due to this, but now he had his first friend and on top of that it was a fluffy big fox named Kayubi. And Naruto calmed down himself and asked him, Hmm, I was just wondering, what is your actual name? Because Kayubi was the name given to you by people, us humans, right? I have read it in the books, in my father's library, said Naruto. It's Kurama, kid, said Kurama, as he grinned at Naruto. Kurama, huh? That's a very nice name, said Naruto, while smiling at him. When he did that, Kurama had a sudden urge to protect him and his smile. At all cost, he thought to himself after some time of talking to Kurama, then suddenly Kurama said, Kid, it's time you should leave. Your Johnny sensei is here. I can feel his chakra. After that, Naruto said, Aw, but I will. Ta I, wa I wanted to talk to you a bit more. Oh, well, I guess I have to leave. I will talk to you when I go back home. As he said that with a big smile on his face and said bye to his new friend. Back in the real world, only an hour has been passed. As Naruto woke up, he saw Kakashi entering the room as both Sasuke and Sakura were glaring at him. He then observed them all and then he said, My first impression of all of you is, as he pointed at Sakura, useless. Then he pointed at Sasuke, moody. And then he pointed at Naruto, pretty. Because he knew Naruto hated being called pretty. Because even though he looked feminine and you want to protect him, he knew Naruto was strong a lot, a lot strong actually for his age. 
as after hearing this a tick mark grew on his head but he stayed quiet after that he told them to meet at meet him at the rooftop as he body flickered away after 5 minutes all of them were at the rooftop then kakashi said okay now let's introduce ourselves shall we i'll go first my name is kakashi hatake my likes and dislikes are none of your business now you go pinky as after hearing this a tick mark appeared on all of their heads and then sakura introduced herself as in canon and sasuke said the that he wanted to prove his father that he is stronger than itachi his brother as for his life he simply just glanced at naruto and blushed a little while looking away when it came naruto's turn he said my name is naruto uzumaki namekaze my likes are ramen my sisters oh and my friend kurama as everybody raised an eyebrow to this but they ignored and then he continued oh and my dislikes are closet perverts and icha icha tactic books with a brick green and as he looked towards kakashi as kakashi felt a jolt and a tick mark appeared on his head with anger in his eyes kakashi kakashi's head as he said well now meet me at the team 7 training ground tomorrow at 6 o'clock and don't eat if you want to puke after saying that kakashi just body flickered away as naruto got up and started to went home as he was going sakura said um hey naruto would you like to hang out with us as you know we are going to be a team soon so we might as well introduce ourselves and become get to know each other you know as he looked back at sakura and sasuke as sasuke also nodded at this idea as naruto smiled and said yes i would love to as this caused sakura to have sakura and sasuke to have a nose bleed but sasuke managed to calm himself down whereas Sa- sakura's nose bleed was so much that he fell down to and her head slammed in the ground as they got to a barbecue place after waking sakura up where they talked and laughed for 3 hours straight as they became good friends as it was evening and it was getting late all of them decided to head back their home as all of them nodded and b- said bye to each other as all of them went home as this is this is where i will be leaving this part if you like this part please leave a like and subscribe to my channel today i will not be uploading the part of what if naruto was imprisoned and neglected by his family so i will upload that part tomorrow so i will see you guys in the next video bye